I'll show you my shirt. Yay, thanks, fam. Gotcha. Any time now, we're going to be close. Okay. You could be ready, or you could be ready around day 8, day 9, or day 10. You're already on day 6. Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome. What's up, fertility fam? We gotta do what? Let's get those babies, ladies. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty. Good morning, fertility fam. How are you? Today is Sunday. It is November 18th. I hope you are well. Today is my angel baby's birthday. Um, he or she would have been one. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. I am going to get a little piece of pastry or something. I was going to make something, but probably not going to happen. But I'll get two little cupcakes or something. I'm headed to the Ari's eventually. I've got to be there by 9.15. It is 8.40 right now, so I'm going to take a quick shower and down some water. I had planned to exercise, but then I was really tired, and I thought, eh, that's probably, let me get my sleep um, while I can. And so I slept for another hour, and yeah, I'm going to get it in. I'm going to get my water down, shower, and get downtown. So I'll talk to you guys um, when we head out. Good morning, fam. Hello again. All right, I'm out of the house. I'm headed to the train. I am, of course, doing what? Running late. Yes. For those of you who have been here a while, you know that's how I get down. Um, for those of you who are new, welcome. And FYI, I'm usually running late. So I'm headed over to the 145th Street station here in Harlem to get on the express train. So whichever comes first, the A or the D, It'll be two stops, so 125 and 59th Street. And the um, Ari's office is on 59th Street, so I go to Columbia, if you guys are new. And yeah, I've gotta get this liter of water down, at least one, and then when I get there, they have a water dispenser thingy. Try to get another half down. Uh, I don't know how realistic that is. They may see me straight away, but they may not. So definitely gotta get the one liter down on the train, though. All right, ladies, I will talk to you when I get there and wish me well. If you're wondering about the water, I've just seen a lot of egg retrievals where the ladies are drinking water and egg retrieval involves an ultrasound. And I figured my right ovary likes to hide. Maybe if I fill my bladder with water, it'll help pump it up so that it's easier to see. It's worth a shot. It's an experiment. We'll see how it goes. Keep you posted. I'm here at the um, express train stop and of course there's no train so I'm waiting but I did want to say it is Sunday the 18th and at 9 30 which is coming up on a shortly June we'll be having her egg retrieval so you'll see this two weeks later and hopefully she's poopo but send her prayers and baby dust good luck June can't wait to hear how it goes a train is running local that means our plan is foiled as far as getting there faster on the express. I don't know if the D is running. We'll see at 125. All right, so the train did end up running express uh, from 125 to 59th Street. Of course, we got stuck for a little bit, but it's just before 10 now. It's 9.50. I'm winded. I did drink all the water. I feel a little intoxicated. Is that a thing? Like water drunkness? Um, let me make this light. I'm here. I made it. Hi there. All right, I'm in the room. They took me back straight away. I'm undressed. Uh, I've got one liter of water down. I did fill my water bottle. I'll see how much I can drink. I don't know if it matters at this late game. Like, how fast does it get to the bladder? Anyway, be back with an update when the doctor gets in. <laughs> I'll show you my shirt. Yay, thanks, fam. Um, I thought that would be a nice way for you guys to be with me today. <sighs> gotta relax, gotta relax. It's just numbers, it's going to be okay. Amen. 
All right, um, the PA has done my work again today. So what do we have? Um, morning monitoring. So lining is 6.5. It was 6.5 last time. Left ovary, we have a 15, a 13, 11, and a nine. Uh, last time we had a nine and a six. And then right ovary, we have a 12 millimeter follicle. And last time we had a nine. The other one is smaller, she said it's less than 10. It's probably not going to catch up, which is fine. So just to recap, we started off with on day three, we had five on the left, two on the right. So now we have one, two, three, four on the left that are going and one on the right. So two have dropped off. We've Hopefully we end up with one, two, three, four, five for retrieval. So fingers crossed that that still grows. Um, the nine we'll probably have to keep an eye on. It may or may not catch up, but it's only been two days and we had a nine and a six the other day. So I'm hopeful. So now I gotta get my blood work done. They'll call me back with my E2 and um, we'll continue. We'll find out if we continue with the meds as prescribed or if we get more or less. <sighs> feel good though this is cycle day let's just see where are we today is cycle day eight and it is I've done five days of stems tonight will be the six nights so I think I'm progressing well um, we'll see got me in and out in uh, like 20 minutes so I'm headed over to the office I've got to go grab something out of my desk that I locked in there that my manager needs to run over do that then hop home pack a bag and head over to blues we're gonna exercise together I think I've got to come up with the plan for the lining. I'm not concerned about it just yet, but it didn't move since two days ago. So I would like to, I've, and I've exercised, so it's a little odd to me, but I'll figure it out. I'll do some castor oil massages and maybe set up an appointment for acupuncture. I definitely want to do acupuncture before and after the retrieval. I'm just not sure when the retrieval is, so it's hard to make an appointment, and she does online booking, but maybe I'll drop her a note and let her know like how I'm progressing and what the plan is, and we'll see. We'll see what happens from there. All right, ladies, talk to you in a bit. Let's go, ladies. <laughs> the holidays have come to Midtown, Radio City, Rock Center. It's all here. There's so many people out. It's Sunday morning. It's not even 11 o'clock and all the tourists are in full effect. The tree came in, but there's no tree lighting until, um, it's the week I'm out actually. It's the Wednesday after Thanksgiving, they'll be doing tree lighting. I have arrived in 30 Rock, I'm gonna head upstairs and do what I gotta do and then shaboogie. Just wanted to show you all of the Christmas decorations that are up. Well done, I'm headed out of 30 Rock. Um, I forgot to say, the nurse, when I told her, or the PA who did my ultrasound, I told her I took the extra water, and she's like, who told you to do that? And I was like, I saw it on YouTube. And she was like, okay, don't do that again. That's for a, um, not a transvaginal ultrasound, that's for an abdominal ultrasound. And so I was like, well, what about when they're doing the retrievals? They're doing transvaginal ultrasounds, and they're telling them to have water and she was like it just makes it harder she was like but ask the nurse when she calls to figure out about the retrieval so there you go can't follow everything you see on YouTube but I said it was an experiment and I did talk to her luckily the water had not gone down into my bladder yet. my bladder was still empty so but I told her it's probably because I'm slightly dehydrated and she was like good stay hydrated keep drinking your water don't try to fill your bladder before you're transvaginal Got to see which elevator. A4. So yeah, just a little tidbit. I'll update you once I hear from the nurse this afternoon. All right. Columbia just called. I answered it, but then they hung up. So I'm turning the camera on because hopefully they are going to call back. I'm eating my breakfast, which if you're following me on Instagram, you've already seen. Um, it's got I've got three over easy eggs, six pieces of bacon, some avocado and some potatoes. Quite yummy. I'm watching Ayla and Caleb now. Oh, and someday mom recommended prunes to help with the blockage. I think I'm gonna do that instead of stool softener. That seems more natural. Especially because I'm gonna do the detox. There's no point in putting chemicals back in my body. Oh, June did her retrieval, it went well. She's starting progesterone shots tonight. 
Oh so glad I don't have to take the shots. Hey fam, how are you? So I'm eating that lovely breakfast that I made. And I'm waiting on the RE to call me back. Hey fam, how are you? Hello? Hello? Working on Sunday. <laughs> yes, I'm working. We will take on the weekend. So we have Thursday that we work. This is my weekend. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm okay. I do see and see. We saw you this morning for the blood test in the south today. Yes. We are starting to grow these follicles, okay? Okay. So these are the eggs that's growing inside your ovary. So Dr. William, he's our chief. He looked over your results back from today. Okay. And he has a plan for you. He says, please continue your intake dose of the Gonorac, which is at 450, and the Menopure at 150. And starting tonight, you're going to start a new injection called Centratide. And then the Centratide, how much of that am I taking? So the Centratide comes in this kit and in each box. So the kit, each kit is 0 0.25 milligrams, and it's one kit per day. Okay. Have it at home already, right? I do. I have a question though, because I had trouble mixing that. Is it okay if I use the Q cap with that? Because I use that no. for the no. No, because the Centratide, the little uh, bottle, is bigger than your Q cap. It doesn't fit. The Q cap only makes this for the men of you, I believe. Oh no. Okay. I had yeah. I had a hard time with that needle, but okay. I'll figure it out. Make sure you do take off that little uh, white little cap. You attach the needle, the long needle first. Remove the, uh, the the cap, push the liquid in, let it dissolve the powder completely. Once the powder dissolves, draw it up, switch to the short little needle, and inject that into the belly of the thigh. You start tonight, okay? Okay. Are these all three in the same spot? Like if I do a thigh, do I do all three in a thigh or does it matter? It does not matter. You can do it in the thigh or the belly, wherever you want. Your body will absorb it however you inject it. Your body's all connected. So it's fine to wherever you want to do it. Just rotate every day, okay? Just rotate every day. So okay. I can do like yeah. three in the thigh today and then three in another thigh tomorrow, then abdomen, yeah. abdomen, like left side, right side, okay. Yeah, well you can do one on the abdomen, one on the thigh, another one on the thigh. However you do it, you are fine. You just need to rotate sites, okay? Okay. Because again, your body will absorb whatever it does subcutaneously. It'll just circulate throughout your body. It does not matter. Okay. okay? What, yep, yeah. so, go ahead. No, no, you had a question. Go. What is the E2 looking like? Okay. But because of your follicles that are growing, we have to prevent the ovulation, and the centratide is what prevents the ovulation. Gotcha. Okay. So you need to start tonight, and then tomorrow you're going to do all the rejections the same. Going to left what, uh, 450, Menopure 150, and the centratide again tomorrow, Monday night. Okay. And then we need to see you back Tuesday the 20th, next appointment. Tuesday the 20th. Okay. And do you have like an 830? You're already scheduled for 830 on Tuesday. Oh, I already am. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will see you. Is Dr. McConnell away on holiday? Yes, she is. She is away on holiday. And next week, she's out the, for the whole week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday will be the Thanksgiving. So we're out too. So she will be back on the 28th. And then the following Monday, okay? Okay. But are we thinking my retrieval will be sometime next week? It's definitely going to be sometime next week if you're ready. So, Tanika, let me look over your time frame. Okay. Tomorrow, uh, on Tuesday, when we see you, that's always day eight of your injection. Okay. Some people are even ready after eight days, but if you're not ready, the doctor will say come back on one day on Wednesday, the twenty first. Okay. That's day nine for you. If you're ready on day nine, your retrieval will be on Friday, the twenty third. If you're not ready yet, if the doctor may say come back again Thursday, the twenty second. If on Thursday, the twenty second, you're ready, your retrieval could be on the twenty fourth. Gotcha. Any time now, we're gonna be close. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so day eight, day so nine, or ten yeah, of injection. Next week, okay. okay. Gotcha. And then I have that other bottle of like the doxycycline or whatever, the antibiotic. You'll tell me what when I need that. Yes. Yeah, so you still need to do the no real trigger too. So you should have that at home as well. 
Yeah, that finally got delivered yesterday. There was a mess okay. with insurance and pharmacy, and I see that's intramuscular, so I'm going to need help. Um, and so a friend of mine is going to watch the um, video with me and help me with that. Oh, okay. And then I just have questions like about egg retrieval day. Is it no sense? Like what should I expect or what do I need to bring or prep just so I have time to get ready? So the day of the retrieval is the day that we need to have you. You're under anesthesia, nothing to eat and drink that morning of. We always tell you two days before. So let's say on, on Tuesday when we see you, if, you, if you're ready that day on Tuesday, we'll say do the trigger shot Tuesday. Retrieval will be then on Thursday, 22nd. Okay. Um, would you mind sending it again? I'm sorry. Well, it's I, on November 8th. Oh, you did send it? Okay. All right, so let me so find it then. Okay, I'll find it. I'll find it then. And that has everything about the retrieval and all of the, like, what to do that day? Yeah, it has a lot of info. Why okay. don't you read it? If you still have questions, you can call me tomorrow. I'm in the office tomorrow. Okay. All right, that sounds okay. good. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. So we'll see you back on Tuesday, 8.30. And we will, yeah, so on the day of retrieval, we just say nothing to eat and drink. It's a few under anesthesia. It's a procedure. Uh, expect to be here for two hours. Someone does need to pick you up. But that's for the retrieval, like, I don't know when he has to do his part and then when. Yeah, so the day of your retrieval, he would also need to produce a fresh sperm sample. So you both come in that same day. He will produce his sperm sample. You will go into the back where we put you under anesthesia. He cannot go into the operating room with you when you're under anesthesia. No one can. Okay. And so that's like the eight when I did the S the what? H at, that's like when I did the when I had my polyp removed. Like they took me in the back. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So it's in the OR. So when you're in the OR there's an anesthesiologist, there's a tending doctor, there's a fellow, there's all these doctors, but you can't have a doctor person in an OR. That just doesn't happen. Okay. And then after you're done with the retrieval, when you come out in the recovery room area, you'll be a little bit groggy, you'll be in a little bit of pain. The recovery room nurse will give you some water when you wake up, assess your pain. When you're pretty much waking up, if you request your partner to come back and sit with you, then he can come after the procedure so to sit with you when you're recovering. Okay. okay? Yep. You too. Bye-bye. So that explains. I got it mixed up. I thought it was cycle day 8 or cycle day 10. It would be trigger. It's the 8th day of injections. Um, 8, 9, 10 day of injections, not cycle day 8, 9, 10. I should read the handbook. I'm going to find the handbook. Then I, all of this will be for naught. Um, but it's good. It's, it's an experience. We're good there. I'm glad I waited because I wouldn't have taken the Cetratide with me and so I've got to pack that. And I thought I could take the Cetratide. I could take the with the QCAP, but I can't. So it's good that she clarified that. So I'm going to need to repack. This is my little remember my to-go bag. I'm going to need to repack. I haven't put the medicine in, but I started to put like the needles and the band-aids in so I will have to repack recount that I will use my the teething ring I'm gonna put it in a ziploc baggie it's cold and that way that'll keep us nice and chill while I travel uptown I'm not going that far but it is um, that way it doesn't have like a sharp change in temperature and then yeah I'm packing up all my cords this is the life of a youtuber whenever you go to stay somewhere you have cords and electronics and other stuff Jerry so I have all of that probably gonna take my light because I'm gonna stay there for a couple of days since I'm off from work and he's not working so yeah I gotta pack all this up get up as soon as my clothes finish in the dryer I had to turn the dryer off because she called so we're moving I'm rambling I've got my mind is racing let me get packed up collect my thoughts look at the handbook and I'll come back on and give you guys like next steps but I, I think we're moving in the right direction we added this after tie so now there's a concern of ovulation so that's why you have the antagonist I love it that it's like a romantic novel or a story right you have the protagonist and the antagonist the antagonist is the such a tie to stop our hero from doing what it needs to do hero is a follicle 
So I think because we have the one that is 15, so in two day, what does it go? Two millimeters a day. So tomorrow it should be 17. Tuesday it should be 19. And so that one they don't want to go ahead of the others and ovulate and break what we have going on. So I think we're moving in the right direction. To make those rainbows in my mind when I think of you sometime and I want to spend some